Welcome to your Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, this shouldn't be for most people, but if you do have this, and we're going to talk about it in the Windows Security app and Windows um, Threat, uh, depending on the type of uh, security you're using, uh, one of the things that some people can see sometimes, especially in the protection history uh, and user account control, there will be and if you have been actually um, tagged or touched by some malware that has been put into a jail, if you want, uh, what happens is that sometimes what ha you'll see is when you start looking at, you know, what's in there and, and, and what you have in the list, you might see that there are some that have expired certificates so what does that mean what is actually an expired certificate and should I be worried about that the thing is is every file and every um, you know process that a computer does and in Windows is time stamped if you have some old threats that kept in the protection history and the threats, uh, it might simply have an old timestamp. And that means it's something from the past. And that's normal that it's as expired, um, expired certificates because they've been revoked. Uh, it's a complex issue. Some people see it, some people don't. And it also depends a lot on the settings that you have. If it's in the Windows Security and the threats, what happens with uh, that is that expired certificates are usually not a problem, especially when it has to do with threats that maybe you've been in contact in the past. Now, word of caution, if you have been in contact with threats and there's a list, you are actually not doing things right. You're not safe with your PC and you're not careful with what you do. Maybe you've installed things that you shouldn't have that aren't uh, supposed to be on your PC and are creating a uh, dangerous um, mix where you know malware can rise and infect all the machine. The other way that you can see expired certificates and this has to do often with uh, one thing. We see it less today because Windows tries to get the time from the internet and fix that. But if your clock and date aren't right, you might see errors with expired certificates. You might even see expired certificates in the browser, for example, when you go to a website. And that has to do with the fact that your time and date isn't correct. And why could your time and date not be correct? Um, every PC has on board a battery. That battery keeps the clock alive when there's no more power to your computer. In many cases, when your computer is always plugged in, it's never much of a problem. In some cases, when the battery expires, when you turn on your PC, your clock end date reverts back to an old date. And that happens every time you turn on your PC for the first time. If that, have, if that happens and you start getting certificate uh, problems, that means that the battery on board the PC you have needs to be changed. Uh, for a lot of PCs, it's a standard um, watch type battery like a CR2032. And this is something we don't see as much today, but we still see it. And there's still a possibility uh, that this could happen. And also it can create all sorts of error messages because when there's a mismatch of dates of the reality of your PC with all the certificates and the files that are signed for a specific date, but your clock and date is in the past for several, several years, um, you know, Windows doesn't understand why that's happening and can actually crash and cause all sorts of weird problems. So if you do have expired certificates in Windows security, check what they are or check what it is and check the dates old stuff from the past. It's probably that you've been hit by malware that's been tagged and removed or quarantined 
but their certificates, of course, are expo- expired today. Um, but be wary of the way it happens. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.